Let's go to the Supreme Court now. Now, the Supreme Court has thrown out an application for injunction seeking to restrain President Kufado from appointing a new electoral com electoral com uh, head of electoral commission until an outstanding case challenging the removal of the previous chairperson, Charlotte Ose, is determined. The plaintiff, Fafali Nyonato, argued that the president be prevented from going ahead with appointment processes of head of the IEA, Jin Mensa. The seven-member panel at the Supreme Court, however, disallowed the injunction application stating that Article 2, Clause 2 of the 1992 Constitution makes available remedies for a reinstatement if the court determines the removal of Charlotte Osei was indeed unconstitutional. Here is Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Dami speaking on this matter. So, well, the way has been paved, the way has been paved clear for um, the appointment of the Electoral Commissioner formally for the swearing to take place. And I believe that the President will act in accordance with today's ruling, which is that there is no impediment in his way, and he can go ahead and appoint, and he indeed is going to appoint. Yes, I'm sorry he's going to appoint in the next 24 hours or so. What's going to happen? That is uh, Godfrey Dami there explaining the reasoning uh, for that behind that decision taken by the uh, seven-member uh, panel of judges.